guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So today we're over on the pay to win account and we just wanted to upgrade the progression on the hunting fields. So we just took out the first boss. We're moved on to Leica right now. This is the team that I have been stacking. So I've actually started taking all of my village twos, my village threes. Um, we took out Gorvo very, very quickly. The team that I'm focused on is working on Ainz and Lucretia. They are the two main damage dealers combined with um, and I'm not sure, I've kind of went back between using Albedo, using Arthur, um, the twins, and also using Taylin as kind of a damage buffer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try killing out Leica. I'm, I'm hoping we're going to have some success here with the update and that we can take Leica out relatively quickly. So again, the team we're using is, I'm going to go with, you know what, I'm, I'm thinking with Arthur. Let's try it with Arthur here. Um, we're going to put Lucretia in here. We're going to put the twins. I could probably do Mortis in here. I, I feel like we need to we need to swap somebody out here for Mortis um, and actually put him into this formation. But you know what? Let's go with let's go with Taylene. I'm I'm thinking let's go with Taylene. And I'm wondering if you know what? Let's swap out Arthur. Let's put an Albedo. We'll go with this setup. I, I want to see exactly how well this is going to work. Again, we're, we're not trying to be number one here. We're just seeing exactly what works, um, what the damage is going to look like here. Running Lucy. So Lucy, remember, has a really big buff. Ainz has a really big buff here with his nuke. So boom, from 25 to 24. But it looks like overall Lucy with the haste of the twins. Um, again, Mortis, I think, in here would do absolutely amazing. But we started buffing up a couple relics on Ainz. We got a couple relics on Lucy. So I'm hoping within the next 45 seconds we can take this boss down. Not sure if we can one-shot it. Um, Gorvo, we were really close to one-shotting it. We got down to, I think, around 7. So we still got 25 seconds left. So we still got some time here. And I'm thinking that with... Yeah, we, we might be able to get this, guys. Might be able to get it. Five seconds left. We did it. One shot on like a very nice. Let's look at the damage though, guys. Eins, look at the monster damage that he did, guys. 127 million damage there from Eins. Again, Lucy not doing too much, but look how sad the damage looks there on Taylin. So I'm thinking Albedo with Eins. Arthur would probably be more strong, stronger than um, what we've seen with um, Taylene, even there on the healing, 1.54 million healing, 17 million there on the twin. So again, wouldn't be too reluctant. I am shocked that Lucy did not do more, more damage, especially being right in the boss's face with the buff. But but it seems like Ainz is going to be the carry, guys, to take out the bosses. We get a couple chests out of here. Which that that was awesome. That that was a complete one shot for Lucy, or excuse me, for um Leica. and we're not too um we're not really too far in here right now. We're almost to almost to a day since it came out. So that was a one shot there. I'm wondering if we switch up the team a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and continue our path over here. We'll sweep. That way we don't have to use any of our stamina getting through here. And I wonder if we can do the same with Belinda, since we know Lucy didn't do that much damage. You know what? I'm going to drop Arthur in here and see exactly what we can do here. Deals 50% more damage to frontline heroes. When all frontline heroes are alive, backline heroes have their attack rating increased by 20%. So this might be a very solid buff because it's going to be super hard to kill either of those. We have the big buff on Ainz. Let's see, guys. Let's see if we can get this this Belinda down really fast like we just did. Here comes the big nuke, boom. So remember, they got a 20% bonus damage, which we probably could have changed up this a little bit, put Taylene in the back line, I'm thinking, um, to go ahead and take her out much, much faster. And again, I'm really thinking Mortis is going to be a necessity in here. We should definitely pop in Mortis just for the buffs that he is going to bring to this team and possibly drop out. I'm thinking drop out Taylene. So I don't think we're going to one shot this one. We're, we're a little bit close. 
But I'm thinking when we burn through a little bit of stamina that I'm going to drop Mortis in here. So we're going to take out probably either Kazard or Mahira and we're going to drop in Mortis, guys. But got it down to six right there. So we could definitely, with a little bit more, um, little bit more buffs on the team, I, I feel like we could really take that down. We we could have probably one shot that. It took it down to twelve percent. So let's just go ahead and we'll finish this out really quick. So three bosses down now. We got Gorbo down. We got Belinda down. We got Leica down. Boom! There we go. So we got a couple silver chests. We're gonna burn out the stamina. So there is our kill. And I'm hoping we pick up something for Ainz, which we do not right there. But that'll be all the chests. Remember, the rest of the team will also get those chests. So we're going to have to hop over all of the other faction accounts, pick up those chests. So we're going to focus on Kazard. So we actually want to kill out um, Kazard pretty quick. I just wonder, again, I, I think we're going to need Mortis in here because remember now this is going to be based on our stamina. And we're going to really have to maximize our damage in here. Hopefully we can take them out. You know what? Let's do one attack here just because we already have this team all lined up and see. I'm wondering if Arthur's aura is not hitting um, Eins as well in the back. I'm wondering if, if they're a little bit too far away for the aura. But it seems like, I mean, doing a ton of damage, guys. Eins seems like the way to go. I do have a couple other teams that have um, quite a bit of stamina on them. We're building up our Wilder team as well. So we can uh, focus on using Saurus with a couple of the Wilder heroes. So it looks like Taylene doing really good to keep this team alive as well. Even though she's dying herself. And there we go. We lost the twins with a couple seconds left. And there is the buff, guys. So not too bad. 84 there. 72 million from Ainz. So I think in the next probably one or two attacks, look at the rewards though. That is a ton of rewards there. So you know what? We're going to do a couple more attacks and we're going to take out this first boss relatively quickly. Um, hopefully we can get through here, start taking some of our village fours, possibly some village fives if we buff up this team a little bit more so we can get a lot more of our hunter marks faster. So actually not too bad to take... Um, to take him out. I'm hoping we can do it in two shots. So there we go. So we're down to 11. And still damage going pretty quick there, guys. We need some haste from the twins. Now Ainz takes a while to power up for that ult. Oh, it's going to be close, guys. I think with Ainz having to power up for that ult, we're not going to get through these last couple percent. That's okay though, 6%, we'll probably hit 5. Not too bad, 6, so we'll do it one more time, guys. And that will do it for the boss. Just got to take down these mini camps, which would be relatively easy. We have to collect up all of our loot from both bosses um, to go ahead and gear out these other teams. Again, we're building up the Wilder team. But we can definitely add a, a lot more damage in here, guys. A lot more to get through. Just need some more Hunter's Marks and we'll be able to continue through here. Um, looking at these bosses, so the second set of bosses are up. Resurrects right there in a little bit. Resurrects right there in a little bit. So not too bad, guys. We are definitely making some progression. We're not in the leaderboard even at, as of right now. Um, team's making a ton of progression in here. And look, just stacking one team. That is what we've seen is stacking one complete team. So I'm going to go, go ahead. I'm going to collect up everything from all the other teams. We're going to continue to build out squad one, my squad, um, and just push through here. We took out the boss. We're going to be able to get through this gate in a minute. We just have to take out these, these other, little, um, other little heroes. But Ainz, guys, is definitely the way to go. So just again, a quick update. We're already at Elite. We're almost to the next level. We'll be on Expert here shortly probably within the end of the night. So within the first day, we'll be all the way up to expert. So definitely making some progression in the hunting field. Remember guys, you have seven days to do this. The eighth day is a quiet day. So make sure you're pushing through here, 
Big shout out to all the supporters. We got a ton of supporters in here already that are going to pick up some loot when we go ahead and kill the boss. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. That is a quick update for the hunting field. And as always, thank you guys for watching.